Hello everybody, um, I'm making a review of the Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. This was the first tarot, Angel Tarot deck that I bought um, in 2000 and, I don't know, 13 or 14, I don't know. Um, and um, I really... And I've used this for a while. Um, I really like the idea of uh, simplifying uh, the cards and putting some keywords and other descriptions on the cards and a little description of the card. Um, so this is a release uh, uh, by Hay House. And of course, um, they have sturdy boxes just the usual uh, a house deck uh, nowadays this is only by this is released by um, Rally Valentine since Doreen made her conversion or whatever she did um, it comes with this guidebook and it's 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 exactly the same uh, in Radley's version um, the cardstock is extremely good, um, a matte finish, um, and I've noticed that their tarot decks, A House's tarot decks, uh, have a matte finish uh, to them, instead of the glossy finish of their oracle cards. Um, so this is basically uh, a tarot deck based on tarot. Um, they essentially remove much of the, um, I wouldn't say negative, but, um, you know, uh, more negative, sad, upsetting cards, um, like the Tower and the Five, um, five of, of Cups. Um, so they basically exchanged all those cards and made them more positive and fluffy as all of the rings um, decks used to used to be. Um, that's what they say here. Uh, rich with symbolism and imagery, including angels and archangels, unicorns, fairies, and mermaids. Um, all the words in this text are, as well as the illustrations, are positive and beautiful while still retaining the magical effectiveness of traditional tarot. Um, and the book is is extremely um, objective. Um, I guess they have some, yeah, they have some examples of spreads, like a three card spread. The Celtic Cross. Um, they also have a book. Uh, I have a book. I have the book. Um, Doreen and Bradley uh, released a book uh, to accompany this card deck uh, called the the Big Angel Tarot Book or something like that. I have that book somewhere, um, so it's worth uh, having it. Um, while you're learning about the card. So, essentially, and since it's based on tarot, um, you have um, the name of the card, um, imagery that resembles the, the traditional tarot. Um, I don't have a Rider Waite uh, deck here, uh, otherwise I would uh, compare them. Um... But they, they also changed the names of the suits. So water would be uh, the cup suit, fire, wand, the, the wand suit. Um, swords would be fire. And of course, um, earth would be the pentacles suit. Um, so they, they exchanged uh, the suits' names and also... Um, the color of, of, of the cards um, 
makes it really easy to um you know to recognize which uh, uh, the, the suit of the cards uh, when you're doing a spread um the cards have um for example this is eight of uh, pentacles they all the cards have some uh, descriptions a uh, little description of the card um, which makes it very uh, easy for beginners to um, to learn about the cards so I believe that the the pentacles uh, were substituted by um, elements uh, of the earth like fairies and gnomes and um, all those uh, divas. The water, of course, would be the undines and mermaids. Um, you see, they have a, a kind of a spooky uh, appearance. Um, poor boy. Um, the air suit is are the unicorns um, and uh, the unicorns uh, they always always balance the cards and the decks um, and of course the wands would be um, the dragons okay well, we have plenty of suit cards here but none of um, the major ones the major arcana ones because uh, the major icon. Oh, there you, there you go. You have the empress here. Um, they attributed uh, some archangels from uh, Doreen's uh, philosophy. So this would be uh, Archangel Gabriel. Um, there's some result. Well. So you see, um, in the Major Arcana they have um, the name of the Archangel and a little description of the cards. Um, so this is a deck of 78 cards. This is a kind of sad one. But I'm not going to show them all, otherwise I will be here for a month. Um, so, also, the court cards have some, uh, keywords, um, about them, and that's another interesting feature of this deck. Radley has, um, interesting decks, and he released a, his newest one till... To this date is uh, the Wisdom Angel Tarot uh, that I'm going to receive soon. And uh, he also uh, introduced some interesting elements into the dead deck. Um, so you see it's very, it's a very user-friendly kind of deck. Um, very easy to translate into... Um, a reading and you can be very intuitive about uh, the illustrations um, so this is the back the back of the cards um, I guess this would be you have the elements here um, so um, and also uh, the cards have a gilded uh, silver around them. Um, I'm very careful with my cards. That's why they look so um, so brand new uh, still. Um, but the gilded um, feature tends to um, disappear with the use. Um, so you see, um, I'm not very keen on the on the on the illustrations now. And they have a spooky, the spooky mermaids, the the ghost. 
um, this this will be the full the full card in traditional tarot knight of wands very majestic so oh also they've changed some of the cards names um, this will be temperance in traditional tarot um, I mean they also changed some of the major arcana names um, so. you see you can this will be the hang hangman um, you can see he's upside down um, there's some key elements on the description um, but of course <clears throat> this is this would be a beginner uh, deck kind of thing because um, you can't well you can you can do reversals with them um, but of course you need to uh, really get into the system so um, you can get still get this deck by only by Radley Valentine that I believe that um, he was the one who has written the guidebook anyways. Um, Doreen was much more about oracles and, and, and the fluffy side of things. Um, I'm still grieving her. Um, but anyway. Um, the moon. I wanted to show you the tower card. Uh, anyway, you got the feeling. So this was my review of um, the Angel Tarot cards. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. And please uh, subscribe and um, thumbs up to the video. Bye now.